My wife, Lorca, sometimes would say, in the hours still left to us, even if she just wanted to watch an old movie on television. The first time she uttered these words in my presence was in late January 1994. She said it often through February, and finally it began to disturb me because I worried that Lorca might be locked in a premonitory frame of mind. It could even be a morbid condition. After a while, I came to realize the words were borne up like an involuntary refrain from Lorca's unconscious, and I now took it as a kind of prayer asking for a little extra time, but also a way of reminding herself just how provisional life really was. Almost a private imploration, except with me in the room. I felt it was all right to think of it philosophically. I'd been careful all along to never comment, never call those words pretentious or call them anything at all. I would just wait it out. And then one night in late March, I startled awake in bed and said to myself, she can't help it. Of course she can't. Why couldn't I see this before? I also knew that if I stopped thinking such things through, it was being reckless toward my marriage. Of course, in a marriage, many days just float along. Still, marriage is provisional. You have to keep refining it. You have to pay attention. Otherwise, civility replaces everything, including passion. And that's the death of the spirit. Like everyone, I have certain theories. Anyway, the night before I left for Amsterdam, April 8th, I had prepared lemon chicken in the slow cooker. Lorca and I spoke with the affected casualness that befit avoidance and it wasn't difficult to tell that this made us separately sad. Lorca stood and kissed me on the forehead. I'll put on coffee, I said. Clearing the dishes, Lorca said, in the hours still left to us, let's watch The Letter, you know, the Betty Davis flick with the most frightening ending ever. It's on in 15 minutes. The movie ended at 11.50. I've got to pack a carry-on, I said. I had a 20-year-old dark brown leather duffel. I was laying in a few shirts, underwear, a pair of Italian wool trousers, shoes, you know, in case my suitcase got lost or waylaid. At least I'd have something to wear, the basic precaution. Lorca sat on the end of our bed. Want to know my most recent secret, she said. Of course, I said. I've watched the letter every day or night for the last month. <laughs> 